Alexander Hamilton was appointed captain of the Provincial Company of Artillery of New York on March 14, 1776. His appointment happened almost a year after his first steps into his military career, which started in April or May of 1775, when Hamilton joined the Corsicans and New York Militia Company, right after Lexington and Concord. Sometime between August and September of 1775, the Corsicans became the Hearts of Oak, a volunteer militia whose members included students at King's College, now Columbia University, such as Nicholas Fish and Robert Troop, aside from Alexander Hamilton himself. It was a year later, on August 23, 1776, when Hamilton first experienced military action when he helped capture cannons from a British stockade at Grand Battery on the southern tip of Manhattan Island in New York. Several months later, at the March 14, 1776, session of the Provincial Congress, Captain Stephen Badlam certified that he had examined Alexander Hamilton and judged him qualified to command a company of artillery and ordered that the said Alexander Hamilton be appointed captain of the Provincial Company of Artillery of this colony. Alexander Hamilton continued to make a name for himself as he directed his artillery company in several battles, particularly in New Jersey. Hamilton's dreams of military glory in battle would soon be put on hold. A year after his commission as captain of artillery, Hamilton became aide-de-camp to George Washington, a position that he held for over four years. In 1781, Hamilton was once again able to fight in battle as he led the attack on Redoubt No. 10 during the Siege of Yorktown. Hamilton's plans of relying on bayonet attacks and using stealth and the element of surprise worked, and he gained control of the redoubt within 10 minutes and with few deaths from the Patriots' side. Becoming a hero at the Siege of Yorktown brought Hamilton the military reputation that he had long sought. Video presented by the Hearts of Oak Independent Militia Company and the Alexander Hamilton Awareness Society.